And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zoe Diana, our first Zoe deck. Uh, we're playing two decks of each new champion today. As you know, if you watched our previous video with the Riven Victor deck, um, this one's going to be with Zoe and Diana, and this is going to be Freljord with Starlet Seer. So basically what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be trying to buff up our elusives. We're going to be playing Starlet Seer with some gems. We're going to have cards like Mountain Goat, Mentor of the Stones, uh, that can create a bunch of gems. And so that could be a bunch of cheap spells for us to play. Uh, hey, there we go, Kitty Dexterity. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. Here. So that'll be a bunch of gems for us to play, and so then we'll be able to buff up the top ally of our deck. And hopefully that's going to be some of our elusives. We're going to have Zoe being elusive, we're going to have Lunari Shadestalker that we'll be able to have elusive, and a Sparklefly. Sparklefly will be able to help us win the races, be elusive, and lifesteal. And then we also have like some other pump. We have like Battle Fury up here at the top end, giving the plus 8, plus 4, which can be awesome with our elusives, and also awesome with Sparklefly. Um, that could be really cool there uh let's see lunari dustbringer of course makes that dusk petal dust so that's another cheap spell we're gonna try out spell thief we were kind of debating on like what to, to play for the last two slots here because you can play kind of anything like there's um tons of just great cards you can play here with with uh freljord and targon um but we're gonna try out this brand new card you know spell thief pick one of three enemy spells uh play this game and create a copy of it in hand I think the best thing that we could get with that would be Pale Cascade. Hopefully, yeah, like if we play against other Pale Cascade decks, we can go basically spend one extra mana to get a Pale Cascade. Um, but then, of course, it counts as an additional spell, and that helps out your Zoe, and it helps your Starless here. All right, but anyway, let's see if this works. Um, we're going to go play five games in Ranked, and let's see if we can buff up some Elusives and steal some wins. That's what this deck's going to try to do. It's going to try to steal some wins. All right, we're playing against a Zoe Victor deck. We're going to be playing... Or Victor Zoe. We're going to be playing that later on, as you see. Um, let's see. So we got our Sparklefly. Let's mulligan the Sparklefly and the Battle Fury. And keep these two. You know, I want the Sparkle Fly to be kind of pumped up. Ooh, well, we would have had the Mentor of the Stones to buff it up. Um, I don't think I trade. Sure. Super cool spell chart. Star chart, my bad. Super cool star chart. Alright, so they've played two. We've only played one. We were peaceful once. They start casting Hush right now. Like, I could have attacked with Zoe and then they cast the. When they cast the hush like afterwards. I think I'll just let this happen. Ooh, that's a good draw. Now, obviously, the best draw is finding something to kill their Zoe. They are much more focused. What's up, Rusty Wombat? They're much more focused on um having their Zoe level up. With all these creative cards. Seven right now. They're getting pretty close. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. Yeah, no, not a lot of removal in our deck. 
I mean, not a lot of removal in their deck either. All right, like it's that's. Wow. That worked out quite well for them. I wanted to draw the card. I'm at six, they're at eight. Theirs is about to level up. Do you want to levels up? I, am superior life form. I kinda need to play you, Starlet's here. That's a really cool level up animation. So yeah, so for the rest of the game, when you when you summon an ally, grant its keywords to all other allies. So they summon an elusive, they give all of their things elusive. An auspicious season. So I'm at eight, I could play the dust and make a nine. We'll just, you know, wait. Safety disengaged. No. Celestial power. Forgive me. Okay, let's stack like this. Down to 12. Good Battle Fury, the Sparkle Bot, but doesn't really look like that's too necessary. I think I just let this happen. And I, I don't think I really need a Battle Fury, a Mentor of the Stones. Alright, we'll have the Shared Spoils. Well, let's, let's pump up first. Alright, let's go Gem. Pump up for the Starlet Seer first. Uh, let's go Gem there, Gem here. Now shared spoils. An auspicious season. All right, five five mentor the stones. All right, now we'll start buffing up the next thing. I think we're ahead. This will be a good winter. Blessed by snow and stars. I just want to get another plus two plus two for the top card. Can you improve perfection? Or I guess plus three plus three. Uh, Alright, so they're all gonna be. So four three elusives with augment. It's not. It's not the best for me. So they can make them all five threes if they play this ignition. One, two, three. Block. Block. So down to three. Oh, an auspicious season. 
reason. I guess you trade. You're not gonna do anything else but trade. Need like an overwhelm. Okay. We're going to have heal. Be a good winter. Blessed by snow and heal. This is me allowing my Zoe to go down to one health in order to buff up the Starlet Seer to be able to attack with it. Interesting. Very interesting. The other... Huh. If I'm them, I wouldn't make that... Yeah, that is not the block I would have made. I would have just done. I would have just blocked the Starlet Seer and done one. But now they don't have a pill. You know, now they probably don't have a pill cascade here. Oh, so now they all. Yeah, now this has Challenger. Because that's right, for the rest of the game. Um, well, I wish. I guess I should have cast the Pill Cascade first. If I would have cast the Pill Cascade first, I would have had this Diana with the Quick Attack Challenger, and I would, like, all of my stuff would have Quick Attack Challenger. It's just, you know, is it worth playing the Diana right now? I mean, I guess so. Because I, I guess it grants it to them for the rest of the game, right? So yeah, these could have been quick attack challengers, which would have been amazing. This would be a good winter. I'll use one, but like the the Duskbringer should be challenging the Zoe, I would assume. It's our time. How about that? By snow and stars. We get to keep Zoe alive. Look at that, Harsh Winds. Better than Hush. Harsh Winds is better than Hush. There we go. Well, that was a pretty crazy game. That was pretty awesome. We were both just kind of doing our stuff. And I, I, yeah, I wish I would have cast that Pill Cascade first, and then I would have been able to have the Diana and gave, given all my things Quick Attack Challenger, but still, that was that was cool. How often do... How often does, like, your opponent cast, like, a give-it-all to, like, make all of their things five power elusives, and you, like, win two turns later, like, you block out f just fine, and then you, like, you know, annihilate their board and win a couple of turns later? Like, that's... That's gotta be really difficult. Oh. I forgot to start the prediction. Will I win? Okay, here we go. Now it started. Will I win? Okay, let's see what we're playing against. We're playing against Riven Lee Sin. That's probably going to be a pretty good deck. Um, yeah, that's probably going to be a pretty good deck. This would be a good spot for Hush. <laughs> Hush would definitely be good against Riven and Lee Sin. Um, so yeah, maybe Troll Chant should be uh, should be Hush. Just depends on like how much you want to beat Mystic Shot, I guess. I 
absolutely. Uh, question was, is it is it possible for new players to play this game and climb ranked uh, without spending IRL money? Absolutely. I'd say most most people don't spend money on this game. You can earn earn the cards and everything. You'll be fine. I mean, I want to turn on Nightfall for Diana, but that means I have to play I have to play one of these things kind of proactively. And I guess that's the Troll Chant. You know, or the Elixir of Iron. I'll do the Elixir of Iron. Yeah, I'll probably take yeah, I'll probably take a week or two to get to get a decent deck to climb to a high elo. Kinda of guessing. So yeah, it's 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 very very uh, free to play friendly. It, kind of remark remarkably free to play friendly, honestly, uh, for the game. So yeah, try it out. Weapon hilt. So I can cast a pill cascade to just basically to draw a card. Yeah. Let's draw a card and keep Mentor of the Stones alive. Also gets a second Nightfall card for Diana. Looks like we're going to be Mentor of stones our Mentor of the Stones. Looking into the future, I see purple. Gives it overwhelm. Prepare yourself. There's a barrier. The whole barrier part of Lee Sin is like the problem. I've got the ranks. Their heartbeats quicken. How likely do you think do y'all think it is that they have two spells to be able to play to give this Lee Sin barrier? If I would if I would have played like the Battle Fury. I guess it's just a. I guess it's just I, I don't draw a card with a pill cascade. It's the price of having too many pill cascades, I suppose. I think it's better to keep the start the shared spoils. This hits. I I draw a shared spoil. You know, I draw a unit off of shared spoils. Give an ally plus three plus two this round. Three mana spell. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So it could definitely be good. Come, a new phase away. Changes but never breaks. Night flowers upon my blade. The promise of a new moon upon you, Bloom Tender. Okay, that'll help turn on our nightfall cards, only the cost of one mana. And we got a sub! Yeah, I wish I had a hush right about now. Wish I had a hush. Brand new Twitch Prime sub. Flygen Man. 
Y'all get some hype in the chat. I already see a couple of people did. I love it. Getting those hype votes in. Thank you so much to our brand new Twitch Prime sub. Uh, let's see. Neo Nijo Type gave out a sub also. So we've had two subs today. Oh, I am so sorry, opponent. Waiting on me. I thought that thing was already leveled up. Sorry, with, with everything going on in chat. I thought th that thing was already leveled up and it was going to be a 5-5 five, five leveled up. So that's that will kill Diana. Oh, and also just trying to kill me. So I can use... I can use a Pale Cascade to keep the Diana alive that would just give me a Diana in hand. I think that's worth it. Because I, I just draw an additional card. I have like the Diana in hand either way. Ooh. Bastion. Yeah, that, that clock just goes away so fast. Fashion stops the dragon's rage. What form will the waters take? The waters are still. Ooh, love the harsh winds. Trickster never loses because Zoe makes the roses. I guess I don't have another nightfall card in hand now. <clears throat> For that. And one. Celestial power. No more hiding. Their heart beats quicken. Maybe we should be having this first if it's life, you know, because if they have life steal barrier, maybe that, that should be attacking first. Ob they're, obviously, their plan was barrier, right? Like that's that's like pretty obvious that that's like their whole plan. How do they have so many reforged things? Doesn't it seem like they just have they've reforged like every single little thing. All right, so we've only played two. All right, so they're at five. And we're gonna hopefully harsh winds this turn. Ooh, what's your champion spell? Stun an enemy. Stun an enemy sounds pretty sweet. They have so many blade fragments. Where did where has all, all these blade fragments come from? They have a million of them. Does bounce my Zoe. My Zoe resets. All right, GGS. Like All right, two and O. Oh. As far as I know, Zero Attack Lee Sin has always bounced units. I haven't seen it ever do the opposite, anything else. Scouts. I mean, these are good cards, but this is going to be a slow hand against Scouts, and we can't block. I feel so bad to mulligan like Pill Cascades. And, like, basically all of these are, like, feels real bad to mulligan. I guess, like, Mentor the Stones. We need a better blocker. <laughs> Zoe, the best blocker. All right, go get him, Zoe. And Starlet's here. All right, Starlet's here will do some work. Same as Zoe. I like our hand. Our hand's good. Plus our super cool star chart. 
would make some good blockers as well. Double Starless here. Let's go. I think they're going to challenge my Zoe and kill my Zoe. Oh, no. How they pass like that, I thought they were going to go, like, one mana challenger and then another one mana thing. Alright, Star Shark across one mana now. We'll see if this top card needs the plus two, plus two. Okay, good. We got rewarded. Uh, Equinox. Moonglow. Meh. Maybe just Messenger. See if they have. Um, okay, they don't have the gain another attack turn card, at least not yet. I gotta show you the sights of Valor. The sights are fine. The smells, on the other hand. <laughs> All right, Pill Cascade, gonna need you to do some some work for us. Put him down to eight. Guess we go with that. Kind of go with another pill cascade. But... Yeah, there's the rally. Okay. Um, and I, I'm one mana short from like copying their rally and then casting my own rally, but I could go like I could look for Equinox. Yeah, let's look for because e if we Equinox the Valor, then they don't get to attack with that, so they have to attack. If they want to attack twice with Misfortune, they have to attack with Quinn, which allows me to kill Quinn. But then the Misfortune just kind of kills us. This just isn't great. Zoe, you're at six. That will at least you know, kill the Valor. I could still save Zoe. Or I could have Pale Cascade. Yeah, I'll save Zoe. Alright, you're at seven. Okay, they did not attack again to level up Misfortune. Alright, come on. No! I needed Equinox. Really need Equinox. Alright, so Zoe's gonna die. I could level up Zoe. That's Captain Fortune. But I don't really see it worth leveling up. I'll just keep my options open, so you know, yeah, because I could have played, could have played a couple of things and leveled up Zoe there, but I'm gonna just keep my options open because I may may want to pill cascade depending on what happens here. So my plan is kind of is probably to like spell thief their um, their relentless pursuit. So my next turn I have two attacks. 
Okay, that's the 2 1. Alright, yeah, I can't keep the 2 1 alive. But I don't really need to let them know that I'm doing that until I do that. And this fortune's really good. This was with them choosing not to attack, also. Alright, so this is me going to one. I cannot keep the goat alive. Okay, let's see how we're going to do this. So we're going to make both of my things lethal attackers. This will be a good winter. So it's going to be four. Blessed by snow and stars. I guess I can't quite make that a lethal attacker. Don't get ahead of yourself. Wow. This would be a good winter. Wow. That was, the, that was the only thing that killed me, was direct damage here, right? Like, I, I felt great about this turn besides that, besides the direct damage. So, like, I wasn't going to be playing the Pill Cascade. I was going to Troll Chant to keep my Mench of the Stones alive. Obviously, we're going to be killing both of them. And then I was going to recast, so then I would have the four man. I was going to recast their Relentless Pursuit, be able to attack again. Okay, looks like we're playing against some Fearsome. I could see this being kind of difficult. For us, you know, it's gonna be the it's gonna be the race. We're we're not gonna really be able to block. Oh, Sparkle Fly. Man, you would have been great the last game, Sparkle Fly. Um, maybe I mulligan Starlet's here? No, I mean Starlet's here is awesome. I'm going Dustbringer on one, Sparkle Fly on two, Mentor on three. I think I still keep Starlet's here though. I think this is a good curve for us. No more hiding. Because we're gonna have the mentor the stones grow the sparkle fly, turn that into a three four. Speak, stars. Elusive life steal. And heal our Nexus for three each each turn. Wow, took it all. They didn't want to block the mentor of the stones. Interesting. Alright, that's a good mountain goat. They're passing. I'm still gonna play this other mountain goat. Trickster never loses because Zoe makes the roses. That's a lot of mysteries. Of course, I don't mind like something dying to give me a little bit extra room <clears throat> to be able to play other things. 
and uh, if they have like a Frenzied Scarer, these three powers won't be able to block it. So like, I don't really want to go three power, three power on these also because of Frenzied Skitter. So I wanted to keep growing the Sparkle Fly. I'm kind of surprised I had room for all that. Okay, in case they open attack. I got all these with the um, three power. If they play Frenzy Skitter first, then we just go gem, gem, gem and make everything three power again. There's nothing to fear. They forced us to choose death or the blade. So I think we're looking good. That was a good hand for us and this Mentor the Stone Sparkle Fly was pretty awesome. From the darkness. They just do stun and silence two things? Why why would they choose the mountain goat? That thing's burst. <laughs> yeah, finally got a haircut. It had been um It had been like three months since my last haircut. <laughs> I had really been needing one. Oh, because it can't block. Right, it's silenced and can't block. Okay, well. Fly away while you can. Doing this right now with the Starless Ear. Maybe I should have gone double Dust Petal Dust, though, with the Starlet Seer, and then I would have been able to play the Shade Stalker also. What gave me two spells? Okay, what did you do this time? I'm going to have to stop a lot of elusives. So young. I think we're going to be three and one. There we go. Elusive Zoe's. <laughs> Playing some ramp. Playing some good old ramp. So they're gonna have so Avalanche, of course, is the card gotta be worried about Avalanche. Um, Goat Diana not great against Avalanche. Starlet Seer is great against Avalanche. I could see Battle Fury being really nice, but they're also like a, a Frostbite deck. So maybe I mulligan that. I don't think I mulligan the, the... Let's see. So if we go Starless here on two, on turn three... Maybe I go Goat on turn two, actually. Yeah, I'm going to go Goat on turn two. And saving Diana for later. Which ones could be nice. So I want to strike, get the gem, before they avalanche. See, okay, so they do have something that costs a whole bunch of mana in hand. These old eyes still see far and clear. They may not be avalanching with uh, faces of the old ones. Yuck. Ready the torches. Not my favorite attack of all time. I'm gonna hold on to the Pell Cascade. Yeah, I got I got the ranked reward from last season um you know it's it's the the I, the player icon you should have got that whenever you logged in after the update what am i going to cast the gem on this be a good i 
guess just one of those. Five five. Blessed by snow and stars. So could go Fury of the North. Face them, you know, force them to have a frostbite card. For truth. I could go Fury on this Shade Stalker. I cannot turn back. I don't know if it really makes sense to attack with all the other stuff. Oh, it's basically I could put lethal on them by attacking with everything. This will this will still put them down to two. You know, if I attack with everything, then they block two things. But then they they like kill one of my things. They draw a card. Okay, cast a palm. Uh, you don't you don't get any chests for season re for ranked rewards at the end of the season. There's weekly chests, and then there's chests that you get from like your your regular reward track, but there isn't any end of season um, chest rewards. They they now they there is now like I guess going forward. For like the next season, they're gonna have like those chests with the the essence and stuff. Like that's a brand new new thing they just added. That's gonna be uh, going forward towards next season, but that's not um, implemented yet. This will be a good winter. Blessed by snow and stars. You're welcome. So Diana's Pill Cascade draws me a card. Find your path in the dark and draws me a card and gets three Starlet Seer abilities. I'm gonna just do that real quick. This would be a good winter. I wish I would have blocked everything. And killed everything so they couldn't cast Singular Will. At least, I guess they could. They would just target one of my things. Who goes there? King of Trolls coming through. Unseen, unheard. Embrace the night. No more lies. Face your heretic. So I could do this and not let them not let them block here. Cause like I could do this, but then like a, a troll chant I saves their trundle. Heard. Right? And then like a, a troll chant kills my Diana. Now the same with either of those. But here a troll chant doesn't kill my stuff. It still saves their thing, but doesn't kill my stuff. So I'm keeping up. I'm gonna I'm gonna be casting uh, harsh winds this turn, which means I have three additional mana. So I can play that. Singular Will, I did not play around that. I guess I need to start playing around that. I think that's the second time I've seen Singular Will. So I guess it's a card I'm going to need to start playing around. I mean, I wish I could Pale Cascade and Harsh Winds. Maybe I shouldn't have played this Starlet's here. Meet Destiny. Fly away while you can. So 
a regular pill cascade. Hey, Dark Dragoon. Alright, so these Trundles got plus six. So they have Trindamir, Ice Pillar, Ice Pillar. So they have those three. So that means three of these other ones are... Oh man, I forgot that that thing bounced Concussive Palm, how they did that. Man, that was a great attack by them. They they played this really well. I forgot how they bounced Concussive Palm. I needed to draw Bastion. That's what I needed. Alright, well, I guess I don't have any out to them just playing Concussive Palm. No, I really don't. I at least could have, like, maybe tried to attack and, and forced... Yeah, I could, have, I could have tried going Pale Cascade attack. <sighs> Forgive me. Oh, vermin. I will be heard. I'd hope they would just cast the concussive palm like on the Diana for some reason, but I don't have any other harsh wins. I don't have any way to win this now. If they simply attack, I lose. Warms even the coldest hearts. GG's. Come, a new phase awaits. Well, that was a really disappointing game. It started off good, it was looking good, um, but then just they just had some ridiculous haymakers. Uh, yeah, none more so than the uh, than that card from Ionia that I could have definitely like I could have easily played around this card and yeah, pick an ally, recall all other units and landmarks. Like they attacked with everything. I could have blocked everything, killed all their allies. They wouldn't have had an ally. They wouldn't have been able to play singular will. I guess that's a card I need to... That's not... Yeah, that's the second time I've seen that card in that deck, so I guess that's that's something I need to watch for moving forward. Yeah, it's disappointing. That's really disappointing. Oh, well. Um, that's the thing. It's, it's you know, with card games like this, uh, you're, you know, like, you're gonna lose games that, that you think that you probably should have won, and it's, it's about learning. You know, now I learned that that's a card that I need to have on my radar uh, whenever I'm playing the games going forward. Um, yeah, exactly. That's what I was expecting. Mina Swiftfoot too. I've seen, you know, I've usually seen Mina Swiftfoot. Um, that's what that's the card that I was kind of expecting. But I, I was happy with how our deck uh, performed. I, you know, wasn't really sure exactly how, you know, what would happen with these being uh, the new cards and everything like that. Um, but I think it it did perform pretty well. Um, that harsh winds was really clutch for us a couple of times. Having that in here. Sparklefly was cool with the Mentor of the Stones. That worked good. And yeah, Troll Chant wasn't really the best. Uh, we talked about that, like maybe Troll Chant should be Hush. And um, this definitely does look like, um, you know, Hush just, just looks like an amazing card these days. And I think there's less Mystic Shot, more, uh, you know, large large thing where, where Hush can do a whole lot. Like think if like we would have Hush, you know, obviously Hush with a Lee Sin, obviously there. Um, but then even like that other game that we lost to the Misfortune, I think if we could have hushed Misfortune one of those rounds, that could have been really nice. Um, yeah, I, I think we won. I think, I think I would probably play the hush instead. Um, I like the Elixir of Iron. I really like the one mana whenever you're playing these, uh, these really cheap things, especially Starlet Seer. You really want the one mana card because like maybe you don't play anything on turn one. You play like Starlet Seer on turn two. You want to protect it on turn two. I think that's a big difference with this deck, so I would keep Elixir of Iron over the two mana options. 
But there we go. All right, so that's Zoe Diana. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck and the games and everything like that. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.